Hello there! It has been a while. We promised to do a lot more of these videos, but we are officially crap. We failed. <laughs> we <miserably>. failed. <laughs> In theory, it was going to be fantastic and we bring you along on the pregnancy and all the things, but yeah. no, no. Life got in the way. Yeah. And things exactly. happen but we've been doing it on Instagram and you know keeping you up to date over there but mm -hmm. um, it's been just unbelievable it's been so busy and I never thought in while you were pregnant I was going to be so busy but I it's... prefer you being pregnant <laughs> me being pregnant or you being pregnant <laughs> I prefer you being busy while I was pregnant oh, you before, then when then the baby, when the baby comes here. okay fine so. <laughs> that's why she bo she booked all the jobs I feel like it's you to blame for me being yeah, busy but yeah it's, it's basically been a, ma a mad summer and then a mad like um, autumn time as well so yeah. like uh, we started off since probably one of the last videos we did um, of these sorts of updates I have been we you, were going, we were, yeah we were both going to Europe so we went to Sweden we Ireland. both went to Sweden and Ireland we caught up with friends and family you had a little baby shower yeah that was very amazing. cute she got some presents and we had our family over and then uh, Joanna who used to work with us she threw you a little baby shower as well yeah that was so sweet we had uh, beautiful cakes and lots of uh, decorations yeah and, uh, it was very very cute i did actually crash that baby shower <laughs> in fact i crashed all the baby showers i was there and you couldn't get rid of me um we did a we did a competition where we were folding the buggies or the strollers yes that Donald was quite won fun. both i was uh one of them was putting a nappy on diaper on mm -hmm. and i managed to get the arm caught in the in the nappy so We've only practicing we've only got then. one week to go, Sophie. You better you better get your head straight. <laughs> Been practicing since then. Yeah, so we, we had a really nice time back home and catching up with friends and family. And I think you know, especially before the baby comes, and especially because we're so far away from home, it was nice to have that time to just kind of you know get back to zero and and really find time yeah. to hang out with friends and family. And I think you enjoy it like not that it's the last time we'll see them, but it's the last time you'll see them just the two of us or just yeah. on your own. And I think you, like, I definitely made a point of trying to appreciate that time. Of, Did you? you know, yeah. I, you were you were appreciating that? Yeah, I'm not sure you were. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy. I was, like, going to see loads of people. And, yeah, I was I was a bit manic. I feel like only now have I kind of calmed down. Yeah. Which is probably a good thing of the yeah, baby I'm arriving. Uh, but, yeah, so busy summer. And then I went off and did this TV show across Asia. Six Asian countries. I survived a typhoon. I survived uh, threats. possible <laughs> nuclear threats every night in Korea there was a CNN reporter reporting on the possibility of nuclear war which was slightly terrifying and more so for you every time I was ringing back home she was like checking in to see if I everything know, was if okay. I know if you didn't answer within like two rings I was like oh something's happened something's happened. Yeah I think you were more terrified during I was in the typhoon in Macau just opposite Hong Kong mm -hmm. and um, at one point I was in the hotel talking to Sophie and the building started swaying and I said Sophie do you think I should probably I should, pro I should probably go downststairs at this point I was Don't like 47 floors up and have like a nap and I was like when the doors are closing on their own and the chandeliers are almost falling down it's probably time to get off the 23rd floor or yeah. whatever you were on it was stuff. a really nice room though I, I, I got to stay at the MGM Grand and they put us up in like this incredible room and um, I didn't really want to leave because everywhere else was like miserable there was no power and in this fantastic room I had all the comforts of home but yeah. except for the fact that it potentially could have wasn't fallen safe. over <laughs> wasn't safe but anyway so got all that done uh, with the TV show is is gonna air next year we're doing the voiceover at the moment in LA but um, but yeah that was that we actually broke it up so I went to Asia in August and September mm -hmm. came back to LA with your parents with my parents my parents were over <laughs> um, that where our infamous um, Max photo San Francisco yes. situation yes. happened um, <laughs> where he was he went a little bit viral if you I'm haven't seen that video I'm proud of that photo I mean you like, took the video you, you took the photo you can't even like you can't try and get a photo like that it was yes you know totally a, a mishap but it worked out really well mm -hmm. and if you don't know what we're talking about we will leave a link to the video in the box below uh, but yeah so that was that was great fun and actually it was really nice because my parents were talking about not coming over um until in september christmas, and not yeah. until christmas but we really wanted them to see what you know our life was like out here and and again like i was saying about us going back to europe it was so nice having time with them here mm. being able to show them around and we went to san francisco and had we had the 
like a newborn baby. I don't. It It'd would be a be, different thing. Yeah, I so think it would be a different thing. It was a very nice kind of. Again, you got to like be active. We went for loads of walks and yeah. paddleboarding and and lots and fun. lots of food. I have literally yes. we we've eaten so much in the last <laughs> few months. Um, but yeah, so we did and we did the road trip from San Francisco, uh, the PCH down to um, the parts down to Los Angeles. Not yeah, the parts that, yeah. that aren't closed. Yeah. But yeah, so that was that. Then I went back to Asia. No, you no. went back to London. Oh, I went back to London and we filmed the like the cooking elements of the show we filmed a Christmas special for Irish screens yes. uh, we did a whole load of YouTube videos which are coming your way as well and um, basically did all the little jobs I had to do back in Ireland mm -hmm. and in London as much as I could before uh, I came back out here and then once I came home your brother and sister were here no well my brother and his girlfriend sorry <laughs> <laughs> not your brother's I only have girlfriend a brother. <laughs> <laughs> not your brother and your sister because you don't have a sister uh, but yeah Sophie's brother and uh, her girl, girl <laughs> Sophie's tired. I'm tired. It's, I'm, I'm my emotional. Brother, <laughs> my brother and his girlfriend were here for ten days, yeah. and they were yeah they got here before you came back. Here. Yeah. So it's kind of again nice to just have a little bit of time with them mm. and. Um, and I think overall the fact that like you had people while I while I was traveling yeah. you had people like we my friend came over and stayed with me for summer, a while yeah, during the um, and then you had them so I feel like it it broke it up a little bit yeah. Um, but yeah, it's actually, it's taken quite a while to kind of get back to normal. I think I'm back, what, like three weeks now at this stage? It's not longer. Yeah, a month. I would say I'm back yeah. a month. And I only feel like I'm back to kind of normality because it's been an, just a mad, mad year of I, lots of busyness. Yeah. And, uh, but you yeah. Did, you did a lot of traveling and a lot of time yeah. zones and a lot of different projects, which I think doesn't help in like mentally it mentally. takes time to just switch off yes and so then he brought the flu back as oh, well yeah. so we took about it 10 <laughs> days to get over that so yes it's a great start basically <laughs> we are we're making a long story out of the short story that should be that we've been very busy and that's why we haven't <laughs> done a video like that but that's what we've been up to and that's our excuse um i think that it's that also, excuses it doesn't it's also it? six months worth of things that have happened exactly so, we have yeah. six months of stuff to oh, catch no. you up on three, uh, well, three months, long, uh, months. Like, we're, are we rambling we're it probably will. rambling anyway um <laughs> Okay, so down to business. We are, how, how many weeks are you now? 38 and a half. 38 and a half. That means 39 weeks is when the due date is. No, 30, 40 weeks is the due 40 date. weeks is when the due date <laughs> is. And that means we are actually 10, days, 10 out. days out. We are 10 days out from Sophie's due date, which is actually, can I tell them? It is, like yes, it's, it's on Thanksgiving. So um, we are hoping that our OBGYN is not going to be laying the table and putting out a turkey <laughs> dinner while Sophie goes into labor. Um, but Hopefully we can time it because uh, it's my, well, it's both of our first um, Thanksgiving. Yeah. So I would. I would like to enjoy a Thanksgiving and not yes. not remember it for for labor pains. So. <laughs> but you could Maybe be giving birth to your own butterball and it'll True. Yeah. my own little turkey. <laughs> yeah, so you'll be giving birth to a turkey on the twenty third. <laughs> but yeah, in theory, um, in theory, you're not necessarily going to go into labor on the exact due date. No. So yeah, and and often they say that like you're going to run over. So yeah, for the first baby, you run over. We shall see. We Both shall see. Days. But yes, I think the most exciting aspect of you being pregnant has been those pregnancy classes that you signed us up for <laughs> <laughs> for basically for a month Sophie had us going to this like weekly pregnancy class with a whole load it was possibly the most American thing I've ever been a part of everyone you sits do down everywhere really in Ireland well, I don't know. In about Sweden? Well, in Sweden, I think you do. Okay, well, I have never... Well, okay, I've never experienced this, and it was a very American thing because we were surrounded by Americans, uh, obviously, <laughs> and um, everyone kind of was talking about, you know, uh, what they were going through during the pregnancy. It was it was kind of like an Alcoholics Anonymous for pregnant yeah, people. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, so, hi, my name is... Hi, Sophie. my name is Sophie, and I've been, what, <laughs> eight weeks pregnant. Yeah. But yeah, so it, it was uh, it was quite an experience, and it was a great thing to do because I, I have to admit that I was quite sceptical about it, but you mm -hmm. were quite adamant that I would... Would come along and um and I, I did want to for that exact reason that but like I, I wanted to I just thought it was like I didn't know what to expect is what yeah. I'm trying to say and um I think when you go there you realize that actually your job as the partner in the situation is is a big one like you're basically your your coach during yeah. the, the pregnancy and totally. the labor and all that sort of I stuff I think both of us realized that during those classes it yeah. wasn't it, it didn't just dawn on you it dawned on me too yeah. <laughs> I think there was a lot of there was a lot of um home truths uh -huh. that we <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. um, uh, yeah, definitely a lot of things that they do not teach you in school. In fact, I think if they taught you the things they teach you in the pregnancy classes, there would be a lot more or there would be a lot less pregnancies yeah. <laughs> because it, it's it's a lot of information, anyone yeah. who's gone through it. Uh, but they were great and I feel like you got a lot from them as well. 
Yeah, and I think, you know me, I'm very much like, I don't know, I like having all the like facts and I mm. like knowing to how to plan something and just being told like kind of black and white how th what is actually going to happen. Mm. And there's like, there's no sugar coating, but there's also no like scary stories. It's just like, this is four different ways for you to deal with this situation and mm -hmm. it's your job to do this and it's my job to ask that question and I don't know it just gave you the answers that I think we didn't know we needed to ask and there is a lot of graphic imagery <laughs> that is presented True. your way True. we uh, we want the in the class you watch a birth video and that is pot I think that is possibly one of the more terrifying things you uh, <laughs> you come across I'm actually glad I won't be seeing <laughs> yeah. seeing that angle <laughs> but yeah I think it's terrifying because you know nothing about it and yeah. it all comes at you very quickly but I think doing those classes is definitely I would totally recommend it for any yeah. any partner out there um, who's a bit skeptical about it I think it's definitely worthwhile I think and I think because they say that a lot of partners get a little bit freaked out in the delivery room right but I think if you actually know what's going on and if you know what to ask and if you know what is happening next you can deal with what's going on a lot better mm. as a partner yeah and deal with the pains that you see the girl going yeah through, well you, i think you're understanding it more and i feel like yeah. you know e even having done what what do we do like four or five classes altogether you did three i did three. i did six so, yeah, three really, really long, long, long classes. But yes, I, I think um, in general, you do you come away with a lot more information. And I feel like when it comes down to it, I don't know if, if you've retained all the information, but it's the, in the back of your head. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to just jump into what needs to happen and, yeah. and it'll be good. But. And I think the biggest thing is to just realize that like your body's kind of designed to do this. Yeah. So you just have to like relax let let whatever happens happen mm -hmm. and like at the at the time and flow that it is happening yeah and that's the probably like the best way to approach it both mentally and just mm. on, the, on the day so and more than anything i feel like the from everything in terms of experience of people like giving us advice is that like mm. everyone has had a different pregnancy story yeah. and everyone has a different experience of it and i think like for you to kind of worry about things that someone else has gone through that's not what your story is going to be and i think that's that's quite a refreshing thing. I think more than ever, you know, all those classes, we, we feel mentally, mentally prepared. Mm. Even if it all goes completely not to what we have in our heads it's going to be, yeah. you at least have a rough idea of, of what you can imagine yeah. it to be. So exactly. no, I think it's good. I think it's good. Um, but beyond the classes, we have been, you, you have gone into what I would say is hyperdrive of <laughs> nesting. Like Sophie has got the house filled with all the things. She has an entire wardrobe for this baby already. Well, you have a wardrobe, I have a wardrobe, I think the baby deserves a wardrobe too. Obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously. they're they're not even out of the out of the belly, but they have a wardrobe, so <laughs> this is a thing. But yeah, you've been you've been getting everything. You've been pretty meticulous about what we've had to get. I've felt like there's so much in this process that you can't control. Mm -hmm. Like you can't control when labor starts, you can't control when the baby comes, how long it's gonna get or take mm. but you can you know get the car seat you can get the stroller, fill a wardrobe right? fill the wardrobe <laughs> you can wash it four times in a row <laughs> yeah. um you can fill like the freezer you can mm. pack your uh, labor bag yeah. and like all those things i think have been meant like a for me a mental way of just getting yeah. ready and we have like so we had we chose our stroller we went and picked that up uh we've got this very cool snoo um yeah. snoo what's it like a, a crib it's so so cool it's got like a, you you use it with an app and it's all like motion detecting to the baby and if it cries it rocks it back to sleep i'm very excited about it but yeah i can't yeah. wait to, to try it out and see and yeah. see if it works yeah so way. there's that and then what else did we get um the car seat the car seat was a big big deal you got me to we have the car seat fitted for the last month the baby is not even <laughs> the car seat's out been yet. going everywhere with us. yeah we've been practicing with the car seat so the car seat's uh in the car and ready to go and the more ridiculous th thing though i felt was like well for me anyways it's like i was saying this to you in the in the store it's like for me it felt like i was buying my like my first car or mm -hmm. something it became like so important what color it was and like like 
obviously like safety's first mm -hmm. and then after safety it was color schemes <laughs> and I was like, she was matching her nails with the uh, with the boogie which was not a, was, not a good thing it was ridiculous <laughs> but we, we got a really nice one in yeah the end. yeah no I, I actually like doing that thing where you go into the store and you look at all the different ones and you compare them and you take them we took them all for a little test drive oh, yeah. when my parents were over we took them for for a, <laughs> a test drive outside the store and stuff like that so it actually is worthwhile doing that because mm -hmm. I feel like I definitely feel like you know functionality wise we chose the right one um, and yeah, so, I think so that's it was, pretty good. I was very set on a particular brand mm -hmm. and then that wasn't as functional as the one we went with. Yeah. So then yeah, it wasn't like design wasn't the most important thing this time. Around. Surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly. surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, the, I suppose the other thing we've been doing is filling our freezer which, for what I like to call the nuclear baby bunker. Uh -huh. So that when the baby arrives, we have a freezer that is filled with food and meals that are ready and to keep us going while we are no doubt absolutely exhausted. More so because I think a lot of people, well, hopefully a lot of people get help from like friends and family mm. the first like few days or weeks with the baby but because we're here on our own mm. I felt even more like the more we could prepare you know beforehand the more we give ourselves a chance to be relaxed yeah. and not panic over <laughs> eating like takeouts and pizzas and that kind of stuff yeah. so it was a nice the aim is the aim is to eat well and so like we've done turkey chili we've done I can't even remember beetroot, what burgers. beetroot burgers there's Soups. Soups for to beat the band. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There, yeah. We basically froze a whole load of meals that is going to at least keep us going for about a month, I would say. Yeah, I think um, so. But Sophie's mom is actually coming over for the birth, so I feel like, well, in if theory, we, if we can time it, <laughs> if we well. can time it well, she she should be here to kind of give us a hand um, during yeah. that time. Yeah. And then my mom and dad are and your dad are coming mm. over for Christmas as well, and we should essentially be left with them um, with with a, a nice bit of help, but also a little bit of a gap so that we can kind of take time with the baby and and kind of find a little bit of normality as yeah, well so try and find a routine i don't know if normality ex or routines <laughs> exist a whole a new normality yeah. a new normality <laughs> um, but yeah i mean it's it's just i cannot believe how quickly it's gone like i i am no, shocked that we're sitting here doing this video and just that you're you're with the belly Big and ready belly. to go <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how well not Maybe not crazy, but I've been very lucky the last, like, literally eight and a half months. Mm -hmm. No nausea, no morning sickness, no cramps or, you know, everything has been very smooth. Been able to go for our hikes and mm. sleep vo uh, really well and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you've been doing these hikes and people keep saying I should probably be bringing warm towels yeah. just in case <laughs> when you're Drive halfway up. Behind. <laughs> yeah, like... When she's halfway up a mountain. I, I, I will do it if, if it needs to happen. Just Good, just thanks. believe me. Good okay. to know. Um, <laughs> but then it's like the last few days, I would say the last week mm. even. Well, I would say the last okay, two weeks. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know more than I do. I know what's coming. <laughs> is uh has been a completely like different story yeah you definitely i think it's, it's, you, it's like so, literally sophie has had i would say a really easy pregnancy yeah you're welcome I say, I say that now and <laughs> feel like i'm living dangerously even safe but I, I do think you know compared to the stories you hear i feel yeah. like you've, you've had an easy pregnancy i have and i've really been able to enjoy every moment of it and when you go to the doctor and they ask how, how are you getting on it's like i'm fine you yeah. know yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not the long list of like what should i do for whatever symptom yeah but yeah the last say well two weeks then if that's what you're saying <laughs> um it's like my feet are swelling uh, like a ridiculous amount and you have to like just stop and put them up there's uh, like heartburn that i've never like felt before and the little like sachets of salty whatever thing you're supposed to drink doesn't do anything you wake up about four times in the night trying to uh, go back to sleep and I don't know it's just it's changing let's just say that <laughs> well the good news is that you're like a week away from yeah. the due date so I feel like there's you know there's there's the end is in sight I guess yeah I'm glad it's only been like if I have to do this for a month I can I can deal with that yeah. but um, I'm yeah I feel very blessed that it hasn't been longer than this because yeah. it's pretty tiring <laughs> and then so it was like it was Sophie's birthday what was it 
two or two or three days ago mm. and um, we as a little present um, I organized this like maternity shoot yeah. which you've been asking to do and um, that I'm was really sweet. slightly slightly delayed and we probably should have done it a little bit earlier but uh, we left it slightly last minute but um great we did you, the bump though well you had the bump like, yeah, yeah. Bump. so we did uh, we did this really cool maternity shoot in the park that we bring Max to every day Eaton Canyon yeah. and um, yeah I think you got some really nice photos from it and it's such I, I, I have to say like it might not seem like much now but I feel like having those photos of you with the bump I feel like that's something we're going to totally look back on and yeah. be so glad that we did it and I think we've started a little tradition I don't know what the next thing would be <laughs> <laughs> but we started a bit of a tradition I suppose with uh, when we got engaged mm -hmm. we got beautiful like couple of photos because I take all the photos of Donald 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 takes all the photos of me <laughs> we have very few as like as a couple yeah so it was we got those beautiful engagement photos then obviously like wedding photos and then this is like the next life stage yeah and it's so nice to have like a couple of photos and Max is in some of them yeah and you just get to like look back at this time and remember how special it mm. was and you think you can see in the photos how excited we are it's like <laughs> You know, it's yeah, because cool I think like it's so. I mean, we're so close to the due date, and it's so like it feels like you've been waiting forever, but it feels like it's happened so quickly. So yeah. I think you know, having something to commemorate the the time is is such a great thing to do, and I'm I think both of us are pretty happy we did it. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think it's really like cool that we've got this time because, like you said, it's been a very busy last few months, mm -hmm. and it's been so nice being able to have the last few weeks just the two of us yeah. here with the dog and sure. you know going to the cinema just being like a couple and yeah. like really enjoying this, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. but you know like just being yeah. a, like just being a couple it's true it's though. going to get like i'm sure it's going to get even better mm. but it's going to be different and it's nice that we've had the chance to just enjoy yeah like this all in all i think we are we're in a good place i feel like we're we're zen and we're calm yeah. as much as we can be and i think you are more than more importantly yeah. so and hoping that means a happy healthy baby yeah arriving soon yeah so fingers crossed and uh thanks so much for watching we'll see you soon bye bye Yeah, and you hear people that have had like two or three kids and all their, like the same person's different experiences have been very different. That makes no sense. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what?